In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this really awesome bounce up text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really awesome, it's really simple, it's fast to do. So let's get right into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, all we want to go and do is go up into File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this window. Press the T icon up here and then just type out your word. So we're going to type out the subscribe button as you typically see this with the subscribe button on YouTube videos. And then you can go ahead and you can change your font. You can change the size of the font. You can change the weight. And then once you're happy with the look of this, we'll just center this up by using these two center buttons. Now we'll exit this window. We'll drag the title onto video layer one. We can extend the duration of this if you like, so we can just extend this out to the right. Then we'll go into effects and search for transform. So T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M, that is transform. That should be in the distort folder. We'll drop transform onto title. And then in the transform tab, we can see we've got our anchor point, position, scale, skew, skew axis, rotation, opacity, and shutter angle. Now, we want to go ahead and first reduce the scale. Then we use the position, pull this over to the left or to the right, it's up to you. Then we'll just pull it down a touch and put it in that bottom corner. Now we're gonna zoom in to our timeline. We're gonna make a brand new keyframe on position. We're gonna go five keyframes to the right. Create another brand new keyframe by selecting this box here or that circle there. Then we'll move another five keyframes to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And again, create another keyframe. Now we'll go to that second keyframe. So we'll go left five keyframes and we'll move the position of this up just a little bit. So we're gonna go up to there. Then we'll go to that first keyframe and we'll pull the position of this down so that the subscribe text is off screen. So pull that down. And if we play this back, this text just bounces in. Now that is essentially it, but there's one more thing that we can do to really take this to the next level. And that is to add some motion graphics, motion blur to this text. So we're gonna deselect the use composition shutter speed box. And then we're gonna pull our shutter angle all the way up to 360. Now when we play this back, you'll notice there is a little bit of motion blur on that text as it bounces into the frame. If you didn't see that, then don't worry. Let me zoom into the corner of the frame. We'll zoom to 200% and we'll play that once more. And there you go. That was with the motion blur. And this was without. As you can see, without it looks crisp. With the motion blur, it looks nice, smooth and seamless. So there you go. Now all we need to do is just animate this out. So after a few seconds, we'll create another keyframe on the position. We'll go five keyframes to the right. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. Pull the position down so subscribe is off screen. And if we play this back from the very beginning, subscribe bounces in, holds there for a few seconds and then leaves the frame. It's a really simple, really easy animation, but it's a great way of adding little pop-up annotations to your YouTube videos, adding little subscribe notes or something into your videos. So if you feel like this was useful in any way, shape or form, or if you just enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you're subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.